No, it just writes text. But what if it had some kind of brainless meat puppet to do its bidding? To find out, ChatGPT will direct me through this Game Jam competition. We'll have just 72 hours to make a game from scratch to be ranked against 150 other entries from human game developers. ChatGPT will decide everything, all of the game ideas, how to build them, and every single line of code. And if that wasn't enough, just to make sure I have no idea what I'm doing, I'll have to build the entire game using an engine I have never touched before. What could possibly go wrong? Let's just walk through the jam real quick. There's a theme, so the game has to involve collecting in some way. The other requirement is that it has to have a leaderboard system. I have uh, under 70 hours to do it. We can just get started. You give me a simple game idea. Purpose of the game must be to get a high score, and it must include the theme of collect. All right, here we go. Starlight Collector. Okay, I like it already. Casual arcade collecting puzzle game in a galaxy far, far away. Wow, what a... <laughs> What an original idea. Where did you think of that? I'm kind of surprised by how good this start is. The idea was pretty simple. The player travels across infinite space trying to collect stars before they fade away, all while avoiding various hazards. Here we go. This is literally the first time ever I've opened Unity. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Here are some suggestions on how you can start implementing stuff. Create a 2D scene with a scrolling star-filled background. This is crazy. It's like it creates information so quickly. The future is now. I'm <laughs> I can just literally follow these instructions, not have to think for a second. And so that's what I did. Quickly making a background and basic player object as directed by ChatGPT. I like how in the directions it says, in the player movement script, write code. Good one, man. You think I'm gonna write the code? No, write me some code. Bitch. Certainly. Here's an example. Will it just work? Oh. <laughs> Didn't look like it worked. So I asked ChatGPT for a fix. But now it should work maybe if I just play it. Right? 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 Nope. <laughs> Fucking. Ah. Oh, it is turning just extremely slowly. So it is working. Look at him go. Immediately, this is kind of fun. It's still got gravity for some reason though. Why is that? Well, I'll just ask ChatGPT then. Things had started out well, but ChatGPT's inaccuracies were becoming more and more apparent. Uh, but I just don't understand. If gravity scales at zero, how the fuck is it adding gravity? Why does it have gravity? It makes no sense. Is it the fucking movement script? It's the fucking, the code is wrong. Oh, ChatGPT, I was trying to defend you, but it's your fault. Clearly I had been giving ChatGPT too much credit, but for every time it fucked up, it was always willing to try again. Please work. Yay. There we go, we've got, a, oh my God. <laughs> Basic player controller and background is done. The ship will move forward, reverse, and turn. Next is Starlight Collection. By this point, the process was pretty clear. First, ask ChatGPT for a feature. Yeah, let's just fucking try it, I don't know. It probably won't work, but it might. Then, when it doesn't work, ask again. Now will it work? Okay, I made another star, but now something else error. Then repeat till the feature works, sometimes for hours on end. Okay, so it should work now. It didn't? Sometimes it wasn't the robot's fault. Like when I spent two hours trying to figure out why new stars wouldn't appear before realizing that they were set to fully transparent. Most of the time it was ChatGPT's fault though. Even though every response was like two pages long, it would constantly leave out crucial steps and often was just straight up wrong. Troubleshooting was a slow and annoying process, but we pushed onwards, making the stars dim, be able to be collected, adding particle effects, and oh my god, it's already been two days and this is all we have done. Fuck. So it's the dawn of the third day, and as we're recording this, I have uh, 21 hours, 21 hours remaining. I'm way behind where I wanted to be. Yeah, ChatGPT, it's like 90% correct, but that last 10% just like fucks it. So the plan is now I'm gonna switch to GPT-4, which should hopefully give me some better quality responses, and I'm just gonna try to prioritize, so uh, hopefully I get some sleep tonight. GPT-4, by the way, is the newest version of the AI, supposedly much better at creativity and advanced reasoning. I had used it to generate the initial idea, but since it was limited on messages, I had mostly been using the free model, so I took switching back as a great opportunity to reset and get a fresh perspective on how best to finish the game. Help, I only have 19 hours left to finish this game and it's all ChatGPT 3.5's fault, I hate him! How should I prioritize the remaining features? First, 
it's important not to panic. Too late. Here's a rough guideline for your next 19 hours. The important thing is to stay focused and efficient. You can do this. Switching to GPT-4 did seem to help. The responses were more comprehensive and seemed more focused on what we were trying to accomplish, but it still made a lot of mistakes, like when it took literally 10 tries to get the scrolling background to work. It could have been for many number of things. Maybe because it was a new day. Maybe because I couldn't procrastinate anymore. Or maybe simply because by this point I had been fully assimilated by ChatGPT. Whatever the reason though, we were going faster than ever before. And so was the remaining time. So the jam's over. I didn't sleep. Look at how glazed over my eyes are. Oh my god. I really just wanted to make sure that ChatGPT's ideas were not being held back by my inability to focus without an impending deadline. So yeah, I built like 90% of the game in the last 12 hours. <laughs> fucking stressful. Look at the giant pit stains. I was fucking going, but I got it done. Right on time. <laughs> Some of the other developers weren't as lucky. Bozo. But before we get to the results, I have some exciting news. This video has a sponsor! Holy oh shit. my god, he's what? a real tuber? It's just me in a suit, I'm the sponsor. Oh. Now I can make some jokes here. Jokes like, the cost of living. Ha! What a funny joke. What a funny joke the cost of living is. But I'd rather just be real. I love making videos, and I'd love to keep doing it. And support from you guys is what makes that possible. I just launched a Patreon page. There's a lot of cool stuff there. Hopefully something for everyone, so, you know, just check it out. And you don't have to spend a cent to help, just keep watching the videos and like and comment and subscribe and follow the socials and join the discord community and send me pictures of your feet. every little thing really honestly means so much to me so thank you especially the feet pics the goal was to see if ai could make a game and honestly i think it did it has all the components it needs to be a fun game but there's a lot of really easy shit that I missed, such as the asteroids spawning super infrequently. Really, that's the biggest issue. This gets boring extremely quickly because there's no challenge. But hey, this is what the AI said. It said like a chill collecting game. It's definitely chill. <laughs> Maybe a little too chill. We still haven't seen any asteroids. Oh, there's one. Fuck. <laughs> there's some problems for sure, but the bones of the game are there. Well, let's read through the comments. No asteroids. I flew for a long time and only saw one. Cool concept, but the controls are kind of wacky. It was pretty fun. I didn't really like your interpretation of the theme. The aesthetics were decent. The movement is really, really difficult. Very polished, but empty. Feels like the camera's rotation should be locked. So these are pretty positive reviews. Some clear issues. They want more asteroids, better movement, and the camera to be locked. I think those three things single-handedly turn this into a top 20 game. The voting ends very soon. Just my prediction before I actually see how the game does. This is definitely very mid. Amongst the uh, submissions, there are a lot of great submissions, but I think, it's, I think it's solid. The line it has to pass is, can it be the average game dev? I think there's a good chance. For the past few days, the other devs and I had been trying the games and rating them on the following criteria. Gameplay, theme, aesthetics and sound all of which contribute to the overall rank rating is over i just got the notification shall we check it out are we ready i wasn't nervous but now i am results where are we gonna be all right not top 20 that's not a surprise how low do we go though okay not top 40 76th hey 152 submissions and my my game got 76 exactly in the middle <laughs> Okay, we were really hurt by game, oh, aesthetics. Oh, people really hated the aesthetics. That's surprising. The rest of these make sense, but hey, despite all that, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. We beat out a lot of good games. Like these are games that people tried really hard on. Game jams are tough. The last game jam that I did, I turned it in like three days late. I do feel bad that I left so much potential on the table. The reality is I did not leave myself enough time 
to actually test the game. Really, that's the most important part of making a game, is testing it. Because reality is always going to be different from expectations even for robots. Testing and iterating is the most important part of making anything. So I copied over the feedback and asked for a final set of improvements. I suggest the following changes. Lock the camera rotation. Simplify the background. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Refine the controls. Here's a modified player movement script that includes these changes. It's just adding a friction for us, basically. Maybe it'll just work. It totally does not work. Now it should work. Look at him go. This is, yeah, this is instantly way better. After making the changes and generating a new spaceship just for fun, this is the final version of the game. So how well did ChatGPT do overall? If you try the game yourself, tell me what you think. Going by the numbers, it did beat the average score. And honestly, I was blown away by how helpful it was and how much we were able to accomplish in such a short time with zero prior knowledge of Unity. In general, it seems much better for getting a good idea of what to do rather than bulletproof instruction. But the real value comes from its ability to answer very specific contextual questions and learn from mistakes just like a human might. The true power of AI isn't what it can do by itself. It's what humans and AI can accomplish together. In the time we'd spent together, I'd grown fond of ChatGPT. Someday, AI will be so accurate and useful that we will trust it in every aspect of our lives. And then we're fucked. So today I'm officially switching sides. There they are! Get them robots! Get all the people who didn't like it, subscribe!